Good morning everyone! Good morning class! This is your Sir Bits at your service and welcome to Bits Academy! Hello class! Ituloy natin ang pag-aaral natin ng kinematics at sa pagkakataong ito, pag-aaralan naman natin ang free fall motion. A free falling object is an object that is falling under the influence of gravity alone. So ibig sabihin lahat ng bagay na gumagalaw na ang nakakaapekto lang sa kanya ay yung gravity. Ayun yung tinatawag nating nasa free fall motion. Ay, sana all na po fall. Dito sa Earth, meron tayo 9.81 meter per second squared na acceleration due to gravity. Kaya pansin niyo, ang bagay kapag binitawan niyo, bumabagsak. Ay bumagsak. So etong free fall motion ay under pa rin ng uniformly accelerated motion. Yun nga lang ang pinagkaiba nila, yung acceleration dito sa free fall motion ay constant which is 9.81 meter per second squared dahil sa gravity. So kinematics equation pa rin ang gagamitin natin dito. Papalitan lang natin ng letter G yung A para dun sa constant acceleration due to gravity. And then palitan na rin natin yung B ng H para naman sa height ng fall. Though displacement pa rin to along y axis nga lang. So yung equation natin magiging VF is equal to VI plus GT. H is equal to VIT plus 1 half GT squared. VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2GH. H is equal to VI plus VF divided by 2 multiplied by T. Dahil vector quantity ang ating acceleration, meron tayong pakialam sa sign. So, pagdating sa free fall motion, yung acceleration due to gravity natin or yung G is always negative. Bakit? Kasi pagpaakyat yung motion, nagkakaroon siya ng deceleration. Bumabagal yung velocity niya hanggang ma-reach niya yung zero. So, dahil pabagal siya, meron siyang deceleration. Gaya na sinabi ko last time, deceleration is a negative acceleration. Kaya negative yung ating acceleration doon. Pagdating naman sa pababa ng motion ng object, meron siyang pass out na direction ng velocity. So, kapag pass out, meron tayong negative na velocity. So, kung negative ang velocity, negative ang acceleration. Kaya, always negative ang ating acceleration due to gravity pagdating sa free fall motion. So, ano pang hinihintay nyo? Try na natin siya sa ating mga sample problem. Punta na natin yung ating thinking chair sa pamamagitan ng free fall. It was at this moment that Nathan knew he fucked up. So, ayan. Nandito na ulit tayo sa ating thinking chair para mag-solve ng mga problems involving free fall motion. First problem. Ling fall 8.52 meters above the ground. Determine the time it would take for Ling to reach the ground. So, sagutan na natin yung problem. Iskresa pa rin yung gagamitin natin. So, sketch. Sketch natin si Ling. Galing sa taas. So, bumagsak daw siya. Yung height natin ay 8.52 meters. Ayan. So, syempre galing siya sa taas. Initial velocity niya 0. Then, laging constant, yung ating G ay 9.81 meter per second squared. Yeah. Okay. Next is, given. So, given natin, initial velocity is 0. Then, we have height of all, which is 8.52 meters. Gawin natin negative yung ating uh, displacement along y-axis. Kasi, pababa. Ang galing tayo sa pataas, pababa. So, next is G. Negative din yan, sabi ko kanina, pataas man yan o pababa, yung acceleration due to gravity natin is always negative. 9.81 meter per second squared. Next is required. What is required? The time it would take for Ling to reach the ground. Time it would take for Ling to reach the ground. equation natin equation VF is equal to VI plus GT kinematics equation pa rin to then yung height natin VIT plus 1 half AT squared or GT squared then VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2G H and then H is equal to VI plus VF over 2 multiplied by time so next is solution so, hanap tayo ng magsusuit na formula para dun sa ating problem. So, pwede natin gamitin yung pangalawang kinematic equation, which is H is equal to VIT plus 1 half GT squared. Then, dahil 0 naman yung ating initial velocity, tanggalin na natin yung first term ng formula, which is yung VIT. So, 0 na yan. We have H is equal to 1 half GT squared. Ang unknown ay yung ating time. So, i-derive natin yung ating equation para equal to time na lang siya. So, first is, angat natin yung 2. So, 1 half. 2H is equal to GT squared. Then, divide both sides by G. And 
and then square root get the square root both sides so we have t is equal to square root of 2 h over t is equal to square root ng 2 times nung h yung displacement natin along y axis which is negative 8.52 meters divided by yung acceleration due to gravity negative 9.81 meter per second squared so we have time is equal to let's solve using our calculator so 2 times negative 8.52 divided by negative 9.81 we have 1.32 1.32 seconds so for our answer Ling would take 1.32 seconds to reach the ground Pangalawang problem Esmeralda jumps up vertically with an initial velocity of 5 meter per second. Determine her maximum height at which she will rise above the ground. Okay, so na natin yung kay Esme. Skresa pa rin. Sketch natin si Esme. So, sketch. Si Esme, Esme daw ay tumalon vertically. Ito si Esme. Tumalon vertically with initial velocity at 5 meter per second. And then, determine the maximum height. So, yung maximum height, kapag na-reach niya na yung zero, yung velocity niya ay zero, pataas kasi nagde-decelerate siya. Then, we still have the acceleration due to gravity which is negative 9.81 meter per second square. After sketch, the given, so we have given of vi is equal to 5 meter per second, then final velocity of zero, then acceleration due to gravity, negative 9.81 meter per second squared. Para sa required, the maximum height which Esmeralda rise above the ground. Then for the equation, same lang, kinematics equation pa rin tayo. So Vf is equal to Vi plus Gt. H is equal to Vi T plus 1 half Gt squared. Vf squared is equal to Vi squared plus 2 Gh. H is equal to Vi plus Vf divided by 2 multiplied by time. Okay? For the solution, so hanap ulit tayo ng ating formula para makuha natin yung maximum height. Okay, we have VI, VF, and G. Mm -hmm. So let's try VF squared is equal to VI squared plus 2GH. So dahil lang kailangan natin is the height, let's derive again the formula. So lipat natin yung VI squared, magiging VF squared minus VI squared is equal to 2GH. Then para matanggal yung kasama ng H, divide both sides by 2G. Okay? So, H is equal to Vf squared minus Vi squared divided by 2G. Okay? H is equal to 0 yung ating Vf. Then, minus yung ating Vi is 5 meter per second na naka squared and divided by 2 times negative 9.81 meter per second squared. Okay? Solve natin yan. So, we have 0 minus 5 squared divided by 2 times negative 9.81 meter per second squared. So, 1.27 meters. So, para sa answer, answer is the maximum height at which Esmeralda will rise above the ground is 1.27 meters. So, ayun. I hope may natutunan kayo ulit ngayong episode na ito. Natapos na natin isolve yung mga problems regarding free fall motion. Once again, this is your service at your service class this is.